Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Iero, Master of the Broken World with No Fair Fight. We have nearly cleansed our shard out of the evildoers, and, well, basically we could try to gain a little bit more karma on the way, although it will be hard because, um, yeah, there is not much we can kill here, actually. And we're low on money again. Could try to go for the Battle mages, what is my attack power? Yeah, I think we can try the battle mages. I have no better idea here. We continue the siege. Perhaps we can do something good for the karma thingy while it lasts. Um, is there any place that I have not yet given guards to? Yeah, this one here. Yeah. They have militia, which is rubbish. We want the Brethren of Light. Karma is still 14. Yeah, my luck again. Um, nope. We cannot beat the shit out of these people. Okay, any other provinces that do not have the proper guards? No, they all have the proper guards. Nothing we can do here. Hmm. And we don't have the money to do anything useful. And we do not even have something that will help us with the... Um, ah... Now we can only hope for an event, but there is no event coming. Um, yeah, perhaps that is good. Distribute. Okay, did that give good karma? No. Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, now I have to assault. Hmm. Bad things happen. Okay, they have uh, no defenses left. I destroyed the entire <laughs> the entire wall. And uh, sometimes that is good because um, the un enemy might have defensive towers that do a hell of a lot of damage, and it's always a good choice to destroy these towers before you assault. Well, if it's the last um, last castle, it might not be that important, but it, I think it's always good. Oh, I've turned my back on him. Uh, and he's not hitting me in the back. How dumb can one guy be? That was his chance with Berserk to do damage, and he missed it. that guy. Ah, uh, yes, it's a mercenary, so that's where he got ha halflings. Normally only you get halflings with, um, alliance with halflings. And I've not yet done much alliance things there. So. Excellent! No, we do not take anyone with us. Why should we? And we get a strategist medal. Nice. Didn't see much strategy medal. Oh! Kindly accept my greetings, Nestris. I'm Yanta, the fairy queen and patron of the forest creatures. <coughs> May peace abide between me and you, for the well-being of all the living creatures whose fate are our responsibility. Happy to meet you, your majesty. It's a pleasure to meet a master whom politeness is not an empty word, but there is no need to address me a title. Let's leave your majesty for my subjects, as you can treat me as an equal, as we're all equal. In the astral. I'm not equal to the goal, please. What are you doing in the astral? Creating a world full of harmony and beauty, a world where nature is not corrupted by wars and violence, where each and every mortal is happy. That sounds a lot like drugs. A world reigned by love, and I bet with you that all the warmongers, soldiers, murderers, and those kinds of guys are not very happy on this world. Um, it's an honor. Uh, I see that you honor the laws of karma. You've, I've seen you've had it Oino's words. It is he who puts the law of karma above all else. 
Oinor is wise, but his actions come from his mind, not from his heart. The Lord of Karma is merely a force that punishes evil. Doing good deeds just because you're afraid of punishment is no great achievement. Far better it is to do good because your heart tells you to, not because you fear retribution. If I do good, what difference does it make why I do it? The difference is within you. Take Oinor and Belath, for example. Do they have much in common? Both are doing the same thing, creating worlds. But Oinor creates his world to stand against chaos, while Belath is trying to satisfy his lust for power for world domination. Your motives are important indeed, Nestris. If you do not act from your heart, sooner or later you will be trapped by your own mind and forced to do evil for the greater good. That sounds a lot like Tau from Warhammer. An uh, interesting thing. Let me think it over. Can you talk about anything else? Tell me about yourself, Vianta. I'm the firstborn f queen of fairies. For ages I've been ruling my people and protecting them. I do not approve of war. Alas, lately I've had to fight too often in order to protect those who are unable to stand up for themselves. Creation is what I love best. Green forests, babbling springs, peaceful lakes and drug plantages. I've always longed to make this world more and more beautiful. You've been ruling fairies since the ancient times, so you must have seen the cataclysm. Those were dark times indeed, and it breaks my heart to remember them. Tell me what how it happened. The cataclysm shattered the one air door into a multitude of shards. The sun went out and the whole world was shrouded in darkness. Many of us thought we were seeing the end of time, but the sun began to shine again when with it our hope. My people were scattered across many separate shards. I've long been accumulating power and knowledge, and this eventually allowed me to begin creating my world, reuniting my subjects into one wonderful forest kingdom. Why did the cataclysm happen? I don't know for certain, but it was likely proven by the car's spawns. After a terrible catastrophe, many shots collapsed into chaos, causing many inhabit innocent souls to perish, for which I mourn to this day. Boo-hoo. Okay. Do you know anything more? What do you know by Oinor? Oinor is wise, but not wise enough to understand that he should act out of his heart, not of his mind. Still, I hope life will teach him the true knowledge even if only the price of great loss. Not long ago, Oinor was a very powerful lord of an enormous world. He held his place along Elder's greatest masters. Then suddenly he fell abruptly. I didn't know what happened. Well, karma? And Oinor is reluctant to talk about it. I do, not, I do know the reason. He relies on the laws of karma too much, acting out of fear for punishment, not for noble reasons. What do you know about Beleth? This dark necromancer taints the astral with his presence. His instainable lust for power has ruined many innocent souls, and in even greater number of mortals are yet to die, braving Beleth roads to power with their lives. It might be a despirable desire, but I wish Beleth could sink into chaos sooner the sooner the better. His fate fate would be well deserved. Ooh, I think she had bad stuff today. Uh, what do you know the, uh, about the gore? The bloodthirsty barbarian, capable of nothing but destruction and slaughter. I became one of the astral masters, so that I could protect mortals from tyrants like him. I can only imagine how unhappy the mortals who cruel fate doomed them to a world and to God world must be. Well, if they're barbarians, I think they're pretty, ha pretty happy. Um, yeah, she knows nothing else. Does this guy know anything new? Nope. Does this guy know anything new? Nope. Does this guy know anything new? Yo, what do you know about Vienta? Vienta is one of the few immortals who can be trusted. She is kind and she always acts by her heart. Never trust someone who acts by her heart. However, it would be unwise to rely fully on her. Vienta often acts in a hazardous way. On a spur of the moment, which is unacceptable for a master endowed with great power. Besides, Vianta puts the welfare of her subjects, the fairies, above all else. The fairies of other mortals are less important to her. So, she's a racist. Basically, that means she's a racist. Yeah, knows nothing else. Let's talk to our guy. Listen, sir, did I have any enemies, friends, assistants before I lost my memory? 
Frankly speaking, I don't know much about this boss. You never were eager to share your personal life with me, although I do remember one of your old enemies very well. Groth is also known as the Big Goo. Ooh. He owns a whole empire of casinos or other gambling, gambling establishments. In the good old times, you ripped off his treasury by winning a fortune in roulette. Since then, he banned you from all his gambling houses and even persuaded the government to issue an act of prohibition, a prohibiting trans tourism for you. Government? The Kremlin government, of course. Kremlin society isn't some wild monarchy or worse, an empire. Our form of government is a trade democracy. So now you can imagine how many big officials Piku had to bribe his way to get his way. Looks like he isn't very fond of you, boss. Well, I took his money. What's trans tourism? Um, it's when a non-Gremlin goes into the Gremlin world. Why should he do that? Naturally, no one needs one needs our help to do so. So selling tickets into the Gremlin world is a profitable business. It's one of the main pillars of our stage budget, you could say. What's a trade democracy? It's when the power belongs to Grem many Gremlins at once, to those who can afford to buy a seat in Parliament. All decisions are made by voting. A trade democracy is much like, but much more honest than an ordinary democracy. In ordinary democracy, the government is constantly cheating its people to get their votes. Perhaps the money, ha heaps of money, are spent on bribes and PR. When a seat in the parliament, um, when a seat in the parliament can officially be bought, it leaves much less room for emplis. The bidding process is open, and all the money gained it goes into the budget. Naturally, later all this money returns to the Parliament's pockets. Well, that's the same with us. But the overall level of cheating is much lower, and there is no need to waste time on funds or election nonsense. Uh, yeah, I have more questions. What do you know about Vianta? She's a fairy queen, enough said. Really? Doesn't ring a bell. All right, boss. Let, is, let me spell it out for you. First of all, let me remind you who our fairies are. Fairies are primitive folk that inhabit forests of Eredor. Most of their time is spent by drinking and feasting. Constant drinking has caused their brains, tiny as they are, to degenerate almost completely. Had it not been for their inherited magical powers, I'm pretty sure the fairies would have gone instinct long ago. She didn't sound drunk to me. Now, let's just think about who the Queen is. She's a noble lady, pampered and spoiled since childhood, throwing countless ball bar balls and banquets for the lack of better ways to kill time. Sometimes queens organize an execution for a change. But a ban banquet afterwards is a must to celebrate justice prevailing over another villain. Now put the definition of fairy and queen and you'll get an idea who Fianta is, a sport prissy alcoholic, in a nutshell. I didn't notice that while I was talking to her. Sure, gaining power in the Astral Masters meant she lost her mortal body and, consequently, the ability to get drunk. Oh, she sure, now she's sober by force. So Vianta hasn't been for for been forced into prohibition, which I think has made her terrible cover character even worse. Ooh. So why do you dislike Vianta so much? As I already told you, I have no great love for fairies. And fairies who try to tell me what to do, my dislike turns into irritation. Take a wild guess. Who did we enter tournament with her moral preaching while waiting for an audience with you? I tried... I, have, I had to give her a big piece of my mind just to get her to leave me alone. Uh-oh. Poor thing. I can only imagine how hard it must have been for you. Go get some rest. No, I think I have more questions. Um, yeah, what about using my name in a new ad? I would not mind getting some more energy from the gremlins. All right, boss. I'll see what I have no offer and I'll let you know. Hmm. Okay. Let's look at the shards. No. Interesting because of the magic buildings, but too little energy. Ooh, plus eight sounds good. Now look at this. This gives plus 11, a breath of light content, and a gold reserve of 47. That is impressive. Well, I think we have a winner here. I like that contract. Breath of light is great. 
makes people happy. And the gold reserve income is wonderful. Yes, this is all rubbish. I know, I know, I know. But, 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 woo, yes, we take that. Oh, wood, which is nice. Wood, which is nice. Brigand outlaws, brigand outlaws, brigand outlaws, and goblin lands. Hmm. Yay, 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 yay. What about our own home? Plus 20 income, which is quite good. Okay, so I think we do... What do we have here? Lost souls, undead, undead, adventurers, necromancers, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I think we do our standard opening. I think our standard opening would be would be quite good. So, I want this. I want a hero. Please don't give me that catastrophic hero. He has archery. Actually, he's not totally worthless. You get rid of these two guys. You start lurking around. Oh, great. I'm up against two morons. Could it be any worse? I don't think so. Okay. One, two... Three minus seven. Oh, that is just perfect. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Excellent, I might say. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, and I get. Oh, yes. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's not that bad. What kind of movement do I have? Wood movement, okay, that is pretty much useless here, but who cares? Yeah, I fire on this guy first, because I think he's the biggest threat. And again, we're swordsmen, so we're not attacking anyone. We're holding position. Uh oh, they're going for. Oh, they're taking his. Yeah, but he's standing quite good, actually. I'm, I'm surprised. Okay. Nicely done. Yeah, take out that guy before he's doing any more damage. Which I would actually hate. So, yeah, we simply hold our line. We have no reason to do any any funky stuff. And I'm even thinking of pulling him back in. Yes, I think we should pull him back. Okay, we hold our position. Yay! I love swordsmen. Did I mention I love swordsmen? Swordsmen are the greatest. And this guy's used up all their stamina. And he thought, yeah, I think he will get a medal. You will rest and you will kill that guy. Oh, nice. Get the kill, boy. Yay! And even some clothing! Protected by brigands. Well, depended on how many brigands there are, but it's still... still wonderful. Can we buy anything with 28 gold? No, of course not. 
four brigands. Oh, and we get wood. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Okay. Yeah. I have no spells. Point given, that's a problem. You shoot that thing, and you take him out. Excellent work. When we get back, we have no reason to be overly... Ah, oh, a bad hit. But I have just the idea how to deal with you. Oh, now we have a problem. No, we have not. Hee <laughs> hee. Or maybe we have because now he can counter-strike on me. Excellent work. And done. And we find arrows, which is great. Precise shot. Um, that's a good question, actually. You know, we need to shoot better. Yeah, no, no. We have to. We have to keep moving. We have to keep moving. This gives income. Income is good. On the other hand, though, this would be good, so we better keep our money together. Five. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, we are a little bit pummeled. That could be a problem, though. What? I'm in the woods. I have a defense of three. He has an attack of six. This is actually quite bad for me. Back into defensive positions. Oh, here they come, and they're many. They are many. And I'm, oh, 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 they're going for my swordsman. <laughs> that is bad. They're concentrating their fire. What is this counter strike five? Yeah, not that good. Okay, you damage him. You take him out. You take him out. And you take him out. Okay, you go forward and kill him. You will actually rest. Let's try to maneuver a bit. Good one. Yeah, all we have to do is we have to win. Who cares for the rest? Get forward, get forward. You're out of arrows. Change the arrows.
Oh, I still don't have any any left. Great. You will rest. You will move, you will move. You will move. You will rest. Okay, uh, slaughter that guy. Okay, time to make a rochad. And done. Hooray! 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 Oh. That's actually really bad. Send Howland's free settlements. How do we look? Terrible. Uh, five life points, twelve life points, seven life points. Okay, we need to work on that healer thing ASAP. We need to work on that healer thing. Okay, I think I have to stop the recording. But we'll see each other again quite soon. See you then. Bye.